Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. So here we have a text and the text give us the idea about what one of the critical reasoning questions. So the directions for questions is uh, that the there is a passage and uh, on the basis of the passage, what we can find out here, the passage below is accompanied by a set of questions. We need to choose the best answer to each question. So I hope you understand the text and uh, you. Uh, I presume that you have read this. So what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to go for the question and we will discuss the answer. Which of the answer option will define the question's answer. Right. So uh, if I tell you about this uh, text, the text is nothing but giving the means idea related to the education that how education matter to philosophy and tells about uh, the region uh, the region that education makes us means what we are and uh, means how it is uh, it creates a rational powers um, up and running then after those parts are actualized in the child in a process of formation so uh, if you look into that um, it is stated about the positivity of uh, education. It's a kind of a informative and uh, neutral statement, a uh, neutral text, a neutral tone, which has been pointed by the author. Well, let's move to the question and try to get the answer out of it. Okay, so what does the question ask here? Which of the following, if true, would weaken the author's argument. So it's a weakening based question. So weakening what? Weakening to author's argument. And what is the author's argument? The importance of education in philosophy, right? Now, if I go for the uh, choices here, the first choice says that studies have shown that individuals who did not receive a formal education can develop rational powers and engage effectively in philosophical discussions. Okay, so if I uh, look into this particular option, first option, so uh, could be called as a, what studies have shown that individuals who did not receive a formal education can develop rational parts and engage effectively in philosophical discussions. So this somehow called as a kind of a criticism, but at the same time, this is the weakening one. Uh, or this can be called as a weakening to the author's argument about the importance of education in philosophy. Let's look at the any other option that also means uh, maybe the better option. Look into the first uh, second option. So uh, if I look into the second option, the uh, second option says the author of the passage has a biased view in favor of formal education. Well. Uh, that don't uh, that don't uh, directly address the general argument about the importance of education in philosophy. They may question the author's personal bias. Right, the author of the passage has a biased view in favor of formal education. If you look into that, uh, it is uh, trying to say what they may question the author's personal bias or experience, but they do not provide evidence to uh, counter the broader argument about education and philosophy. So this cannot be uh, taken as the answer option to weakening the argument, right? Because our argument is uh, to weaken the importance of education in philosophy in one of the region uh, by giving it. Now look into the option three. The option three stated the author is a renowned philosopher who attributes their success to personal reflection, not formal education. So if I see that option three, uh, this also doesn't directly address the uh, general argument about the importance of education in philosophy. It makes a kind of, a uh, again, the personal question. So the author is a renowned philosopher who attributes their success to a personal reflection not formal education, so which is completely opposite. It doesn't weaken the author's argument to the uh, key keyword, right? So look into the fourth option. Fourth option uh, points out philosophers with a diverse cultural variety of cultural background may have 
different perspective on the role of education. Well, option four points out the potential diversity of perspectives on the role of education in philosophy among philosophers with the diverse cultural backgrounds. While well, the information is relevant, relevant, so it, but it doesn't actually uh, necessarily weaken the author's no, author's argument about the importance of education. It simply, you can say that uh, it simply introduces, introduces, it simply introduces what a factor that could lead to uh, varying of opinions on the topic. So if you look into that, uh, option one is the correct answer because it directly weakens the author's argument. Uh, about the importance of education in philosophy. And what does the author point out? The author's argument is based on the premise, right, or reason that education is a crucial uh, for what? Crucial for developing rational powers and effective engagement in philosophical discussion. This implies that what the formal education, uh, formal education is uh, input is an important factor important factor uh, in philosophical development, isn't it? So therefore, you can find out option one could be the, or is the man's uh, most appropriate answer to it, right? On the basis of the man's uh, idea, which is pointed about the formal education may not be as essential as the author claims and the importance of education in philosophy may be overstated. So therefore, we consider option one will be the correct one. So I hope you understood the question's answer. That's all for the day. Thank you.